So the Pleasant Valley War was a series of conflicts that started in 1881 and rolled all the way up until 1892. The whole period of violence is really characterized between a number of Apache outbreaks that swept through the settlement and gun battles between the Apaches and the settlers of Pleasant Valley, which then turned into gun battles on each other. And their only means of defense was to remain constantly armed and wary of any movement in the brush that they saw. And over time, that wariness had an impact on the events that occurred in the Pleasant Valley War. In a very remote corner, or what was characterized as Pleasant Valley, one of the settlers about 20 miles north had gone missing. So his sons decided to set out to try and see if they could figure out what happened to dad. And they recruited some local cowboys from the Hash Knife Cowboy outfit to see if they could help. As they're wandering around trying to pick up the trail of this herd of horses, they eventually wandered into the Middleton Ranch. And what they did, what was very common on the trail, is that they asked for some supper. Jim Tewksbury inside the cabin said, no sir, we ain't running no hotel. The cowboys then, upset, yanked on their horses and started down the trail. Now there was some cursing that went back and forth, some of it under their breasts. One of the comments was probably an unsavory comment about Jim's racial character. Jim was half Indian. And immediately, gunfire rings out from the cabin. Jim drops his rifle and he starts firing away on, on the, the cowboy. A couple men are immediately cut down. And as these men are trying to ride away and trying to pull their weapons out, they're trying to fire back, there's, there's a massacre that occurs. In the, the panic of the moment, Jim already had these concerns and these fears already built up. And this is an example of a confirmation bias. In, in just a fraction of the moment when he saw what he thought was a reach for a weapon, it was just a perfect storm of preconceived ideas that broke loose at that particular moment. These are not people who are used to living uh, with weapons. They're not used to firing weapons at other human beings. They're not trained soldiers. And so when it came to violence, particularly violence between human beings, fear played a large part in how they interacted with each other. And that fear and trauma is, is much more of a reality than kind of the stoic characters that we have in our, in our Western mythology of, of the present day. 